Hi, it's Pat Ham. Feeling a little bit under the weather, just getting over a cold, so my voice sounds particularly deep. Here I want to show you what I consider to be the most useful reason sequencer shortcut. And it's really simple. It's the letter P. Now here in this project, I have examples of MIDI clips, automation clips, audio clips, and blocks clips. So many different types of clips. P will work on any clip. It does not matter what type of clip you're using. For example, let's just select these automation lanes. Now that I have the clip or clips selected, pressing P, automatically set left and right loop points to the left and right edges of the clip that I have selected. It automatically starts playback and it turns on looping. One of the things I use this for a lot is EQing. If I am running into a trouble frequency, I want to loop a section of audio over and over and over again as I am searching for that trouble frequency. So if it was this, for example, I selected the audio clip, I press P, and it looped it, set left and right loop points, and automatically starts playback. Now it doesn't matter what type of clip it is, and it doesn't matter how many clips you select. So if I select this group, which has both automation lane clips and audio clips, now that I have these all selected, it works exactly the same. Press P. Left and right is to the left and to the right of my full selection. Looping turns on if it wasn't already turned on and playback automatically starts. You can do this even with a piece of MIDI. Let's take a look at these Kong drums. As you can see, since it's grayed out, these are part of the verse block. So I'll click on the verse block, press B to enter blocks mode. And here I have my Kong drums in their various lanes. I will zoom in on them using Shift Z, double click on this kick, and now I have all of my MIDI notes. If I just want these ones, press P. Works exactly the same. Left, right points to the left and right edges of the clip or the selected clips, automatically starts playback and turns on looping. I find this to be the most useful reason shortcut, but that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next time.